what is up guru gang i'm back i'm back i'm back when you're new here welcome to my channel thank you so much for clicking onto this video if you want to continue seeing my content that is candle related body care related fashion related and random things tidbits of motivational speeches etc etc then please go ahead and hit the subscribe button um my last few videos some of you guys have been mentioning that you didn't even realize you weren't subscribed so that is why i have been feeling the need lately to go ahead and let you guys know to please make sure you are subscribed take that quick one or two seconds to make sure you hit that red subscribe button because i do have a large percentage of returning viewers who are not actually subscribed to my channel so Girl, if you're into the content, you want to continue to see me on your feed, please make sure you subscribe, like, and comment on this video because I love when you guys leave me comments, whether you like something, whether you don't like something. I just love to engage with you guys in my comments as well as on Instagram. So when you guys follow me on Instagram and tag me when you're watching your videos, I love that. So let's keep that going. And also you guys stay tuned for my 3K giveaway because that is coming up here super, super quick. You guys have been showing me so much love and support and I appreciate you guys and I just want to give back in a way that you guys will continue to support me. So with that being said, y'all, let's go ahead and get into my September empties. So <laughs> a lot of you guys have um, commented or asked me how I'm able to go through such a significant amount of candles every month. And honestly, you guys, I've told you guys before, I burn two and three candles at a time in one room sometimes, but I usually always have at least one candle burning in every single room. But if I'm feeling like a scent needs a something extra or it's just not throwing the way that it needs to be, nine times out of ten, I'm going to pair another candle with it and burn them together. So that is how I'm able to go through so many candles every month. And when you have a large candle collection like I do, it is very important to go ahead and use up your candles so if you are new here i did take a two-year um no buy from bath and body works products so that i could go through my collection and use up the majority of what i had and i literally took my candle collection down from hundreds of candles to candles in the single digits before i started buying a lot of candles again this year so that is kind of what I'm trying to do um, in regards to any upcoming candle sales and things like that that might be going on right now. I told you guys before my last really, really big candle haul. I won't be doing any more big candle hauls. Um, I may pick up one or two things if it's a candle I really, really want. But for right now, you guys, I am really just waiting on what we might seek for candle day. And then also I will probably be picking up whatever candles I can find for 75% off during the semi-annual sale this year. If you guys did not shop semi-annual sale this summer, um, a lot of people were finding 75% off candles, which if you guys have shopped in years past, you know that's not always been a thing. It's usually been exclusive to people who live near test stores or if you just get lucky at an outlet. So I'm hoping that we see that again because it's so fun when more of us can find those great deals and it's not just limited to specific areas. So that is what I'm waiting on at this point, you guys. So again, if it's something new that comes out, I will definitely let you guys know how I feel about it, if it's worth picking up. But if you're curious on my thoughts on the Christmas candles, definitely check out my video. I have a whole video talking about my Christmas candle picks from stuff that's come out this year or stuff that's about to come out. So definitely check that out because we will be seeing some Christmas candles rolling out here soon. But that is enough of my candle rambling. So as far as my empties, I did empty two single wicks. Um, I emptied a So Berry Thankful and I also emptied a Wild Berry Jam Donut. I've told you guys before, I'm really not a huge single wick fan. I usually will burn a single wick alongside a three wick because I just feel like single wicks never really give a lot of throw for me. And that's kind of how I felt about this one. This is the um, Spice Cranberry Toffee. The notes are White Barn. <laughs> the notes are white barn seriously yeah i don't know if this one has um actual notes on it i don't see it but i mean spiced cranberry toffee it's pretty self-explanatory and it smells good you guys it literally smells like a sweet a fruity piece of toffee candy but my issue with it again which is an issue that i have with mostly all single wicks i didn't really get much from it i really did not get much from it and same thing with this this is actually a candle that i really do love in the three wick um but again single wicks they just don't do much for me this is just another very um fruity bakery bready type of scent but again 
I just, I don't know. I'm never really going to be a single wick candle fan unless there's just a random one-off one that gives a significant amount of throw. But otherwise, I would just rather invest my money in a three wick. That's just how I feel. And I'm going to kind of go back to not buying single wicks because of that. So yeah. Okay, you guys, moving on to the full-size candles, girl, because I feel like... The single wicks just don't do it for me but this one is a homeworks candle that i picked up during a tj maxx or marshall's haul um you guys can find that on my channel i probably hauled this maybe a month or so ago but this is the spice white pumpkin so the notes in this are white pumpkin cinnamon bark white maple and sugared vanilla and if you are new here to my channel or you just haven't heard me say it before i typically really really love and enjoy homeworks candles um but for whatever reason this one really did not perform for me. This is like my first time burning through a three wick. Um, actually, no, I take that back. I think I burned through another three wick homeworks candle in my last empties video. And I had kind of the same issue where it was kind of like, I didn't really get a huge amount of throw from this. So I did really enjoy the smell of it. But I personally have not encountered a Homeworks 3 wick that has a great performance as of yet. If you guys know of any, definitely let me know in the comments below. But I did the, I did pick this one up from Marshalls. So I don't know, maybe sometimes the Homeworks candles that get sent to Marshalls aren't always the best performers and you might be better off ordering it from the Homeworks website. But either way, I do usually like Homeworks candles. So I'm just going to stick to buying the four wicks, the four wick candles from them that I, you know, know always perform really well for the most part. Um, and I'm probably not really going to buy any more of these three weeks. So, yeah. OK, you guys. Now, onto a candle that I actually did really like. This is Laundry Day from Bath and Body Works. This are Fresh Air Crisp Eucalyptus in Soft Lavender. And this is a candle that I burned in my bathroom, you guys. And honestly, it fit perfectly in there. I don't physically have like an actual laundry room in my apartment. Like my washer and dryer is like in a weird like closet space in my kitchen. Otherwise, this would definitely be a great candle to burn if you have a laundry room. But this literally, I mean, the name is perfect. It is a very crisp, clean, freshly laundered clothes type of smell. And I love it. The throw on this was amazing. Like it literally filled up my whole bathroom. Um, I think I found this at an outlet for 75% off. So I would definitely pick up more of these if I find them for that price. Um, but yeah, this was definitely a great bathroom candle. Okay, you guys moving on to a fall candle. So here we have white pumpkin. This is another 75% off find that I picked up during semi-annual sale this summer. Notes in this are white pumpkin, caramel glaze, and ground spices. And as I told you guys when I originally hauled this, this is definitely a scent that I look forward to burning every year. Um, Again, this one is not as beast mode as it has been in years past, which is something that I constantly find myself saying about Bath & Body Works candles lately, unfortunately. But this is definitely a very classic, sweet, gourmand, pumpkin-y scent. There's still spices in there. You definitely get that caramel. And it's a very, very rich, spicy pumpkin note in here. This also kind of reminds me of the white pumpkin and chai um, body care a little bit. So yeah, I definitely really, really enjoyed this candle. I wish the throw was stronger because it used to be a beast mode candle, but unfortunately in this packaging, it is just not super, super strong. So I do have a few of these backed up that I will probably go through um, as we continue on throughout fall. But yeah, this is definitely something that I would probably use in like a smaller space. Nothing that I would want like in my kitchen unless I burned it alongside something else that was a little stronger so yeah okay you guys this is one that i actually just finished today but this is champagne toast i mean this is literally a candle and body care scent that pretty much everyone who shops at bath and body works is familiar with the notes are bubbly champagne sparkling berries and sweet orange and this is literally just honestly i feel like this is the scent that i gift to other people the most especially around the holiday time because it just has that bubbly sweet fruity effervescence that i feel like everybody for the most part loves this is definitely a crowd pleasing scent it's not super super loud necessarily but it's also something that is very likable like you could definitely burn this during the holidays and someone will walk in and say oh your house smells good um, I will say though, again, this is another one that I was kind of disappointed with the performance overall because 
it did not have a super super strong throw i'm getting to the point now where i don't really expect any of my bath and body works candles to have a strong throw which kind of sucks but that is also a huge factor in the reason why i went on such a no why i went on such a long no buy from bath and body works candles because i felt like the quality was kind of deteriorating and as I'm buying some this year, I'm feeling the exact same way. So after semi-annual sale this year and candle day, I probably will restrict myself from buying Bath & Body Works candles for a little while um, and possibly take another no buy. So yeah, but that is Champagne Toast. You guys, this is another one. This is one that failed um, a test a test collection. This is Blue Bungalow. The notes are Leafy Palms, Ocean Sea Fern, and Juicy Pink Grapefruit. This is another fresh, crisp, clean, slightly like aquatic type of vibe. Like it's a little salty. It's a little kind of, it just has that ocean breeze type of vibe. And I really, really love this one in my bathroom. This is definitely one of those crisp, clean, makes you kind of feel like you're at a spa. Um, just very relaxing and clean. So I really, really love this one. It was another one that I really, really loved. I got this one for 75% off during semi-annual sale as well. This is the vanilla and peach tea. The notes are peach tea, sweet vanilla cream, and fresh oat milk. And y'all, this candle smelled so good. But again, with the performance, it was so hard for me to get a throw out of this. I loved the scent so much that I literally kept moving it to smaller rooms. I turned my fan on. It was just a very sweet, creamy peach tea, almost like a like a peach Starbucks refresher type of vibe. And it smelled so, so good. But for whatever reason for me, this one just did not have a great throw. So at this point, I think I'm just gonna tell you guys when something does have a bomb throw because I feel like for the most part, performance wise, most of the candles that I went through last month just did not have that great of a performance for me. So yeah. Okay, you guys, this one I was super excited about when I picked this up. This is the Pumpkin Caramel Corn from Homeworks. Um, this is one of their four wick candles, which I typically usually really like. But the notes in this are buttery caramel, pumpkin spice, and freshly popped corn. And I mean, this literally smells like pumpkin caramel poppycock. Like, it smells really good. I definitely smelled that buttery popcorn note, but I was definitely getting the pumpkin and the caramel as well. And I really like this one, you guys. I was definitely really impressed with this one. Um, it did not have as strong of, of a throw as the banana maple pancakes one that I was like totally in love with. But I mean, this definitely had a decent performance. It filled up my room pretty well. And I didn't find myself having to babysit it or anything like that. So overall, I am still very pleased with Homeworks for wick candles and I will continue to purchase these when I see them in my local Marshalls or TJ Maxx. So yeah, you guys. And then another Homeworks candle. This is the Toasted Vanilla Pumpkin. This one, you guys, was so, so good. Um, the notes in this are vanilla cream, spiced pumpkin, cardamom, and tonka bean. And this just smelled like a creamy pumpkin like liqueur like amaretto or something it just smelled really good it was like a little spicy from the cardamom but it was definitely very creamy had like a glaze type of vibe and this had a bomb performance for me you guys like i burned this in my kitchen it performed amazing the scent was bomb the throw was bomb and this is definitely a repurchase for me i think i already have one back up but if i see this at tj maxx or marshall's i'm definitely going to pick up a couple more so yeah all right and then back to bath the body works candles so this is the cinnamon spice vanilla and paris cafe mash up candle the notes in this are rich roasted coffee vanilla cream and ground cinnamon with sugar crystals and i mean this literally smelled like paris cafe just a sweeter creamier version um i definitely think this was a great little blend i wish they would have made this a part of like the core collection or just made this concept be like a core white barn thing that they do but this was exclusive to summer semi-annual sale i did really like this one um the performance was pretty decent like it wasn't terrible i would say it kind of gave me a good medium throw so it definitely did what it needed to do and um I don't think this one was 75% off, but I'm pretty sure I got it for like $10. So I think it was worth what I paid for. It. Okay, you guys, now on to probably my top three candle empties for this month. This is Honey Crisp Apple. You guys, I love this candle. I love this candle. I love the Wallflower. I would love if they came out with this in body care. When I first hauled this, I basically told you guys this literally is like the most authentic Honey Crisp Apple smell. 
down to literally like the crunchy part of the apple. Like it literally has a slight little bit of effervescence almost where it's it smells like you're biting into a Honeycrisp apple. You smell that sugariness, you smell the juiciness, and it's just so delicious. Oh my God. And this candle had the best freaking throw. Like this is the strongest Bath & Body Works candle that I have burned through in quite a while where it filled up my entire kitchen. It smelled literally amazing. The only issue that I had with it is there was like some soot and stuff as I was burning down. But of course, that kind of happens, unfortunately, even if you do, you know, even if you are really good about trimming your wicks and stuff, it does get a little sooty and the wax does tend to turn a little dark and like murky. But for the most part, you guys, it burned really well all the way down and the smell was just bomb and I just totally loved it. So yeah, that is Honeycrisp Apple. Hey guys. Next one. Now, you guys have already heard me talk about this. I've already hauled it. I've already showed you pictures of what it looks like burning. So I will link that video below if you want to see it. But y'all, this candle was big. This candle was big. This is the chocolate espresso martini from the exclusive candle day or candle weekly drops, I should say. Um, the notes are espresso, coffee liqueur, and dark chocolate swirl. And I told you guys, I mean, this literally, the name is spot on. You literally get that boozy vodka undertone, but you're getting a thick, rich, fudgy chocolate note as well. And you smell that espresso. And this literally burned so well, y'all. The throw was amazing. The scent was amazing. Like, I definitely am so glad that I have backups of this candle because I completely fell in love with it. I am totally in love with it. And I will probably be burning through another one here next month and i might have this same candle in next month's empties so if you see that do not be surprised girl but yes if you guys still see this in your stores i definitely recommend picking it up because a lot of stores did not sell out of this one um and this personally was probably my favorite from all of the weekly candle drops which i only liked two of the ones that we've seen so far so that's saying a lot but yeah this is definitely number one for me okay you guys this is my last candle empty so this one actually pleasantly surprised me and i ended up making some wax melts from what i had left of this but this is the salted caramel pretzel the notes are soft pretzel brown butter brown butter caramel and sea salt and y'all when i first told um when i first hauled this and talked to this talked about this a little bit um i basically told you guys i felt like the throw wasn't like super amazing like you could definitely get the aroma of the candle when you walk into the room but i basically said that it was a very very soft candle and while i still feel that way i would say about halfway through me burning this the throw got so much better it literally was filling up my room i was getting a very gooey salty caramel and i was also getting a little bit of bready vibes from that pretzel in here and overall you guys i was super impressed with this candle like way more than the first couple of times I lit it so sometimes you guys have to give a candle two three maybe even four burns before you can formulate a full opinion on it and that was my experience with this one I really did not start to love this candle until I had lit it for the third and fourth time and just let it burn for a few hours but I overall definitely am glad I have one backup of this so yeah okay you guys so these are all my body care, hygiene, whatever you want to call it, beauty empties. Um, every single time I sit down and do an empties, I'm like, oh, I don't have that much to talk about this video, but I never realized how much stuff I use until I do an empties video. So they are just very motivational for me personally to film because it helps me realize that I am using up things in the same way that I am buying them, but I am going to chill on my spending um, over the course of the next month because as you guys know we are approaching the holidays and I know how much shopping that I do towards the end of November and all throughout December so I'm trying to be good for the month of October and really just use up a lot of the stuff that I have so I can mentally prepare and physically make space for the stuff that I will be picking up for the holidays so yeah with that being said let's jump into it this I've talked about in my empties video several times before I literally go through one of these every month probably but I've told you guys before this is literally the best mouthwash to me um while I do feel like Listerine is you know still like number one kind of I feel like it's a little harsh um it can definitely make your eyes just watery and it's just super super strong and astringent 
This one, literally, if you use it at night before you go to bed and right before you start your day, this literally will battle coffee breath, morning breath, whatever. Your breath will not smell bad if you use this mouthwash and I just love it. It's my go-to, I use it all the time. There's also a green one that I use as well, but for the most part, I will always have this mouthwash and repurchase. This is the Smart Mouth Clinical Zinc Activated Oral Rinse. So yeah, you can literally pick this up at Target. I'm pretty sure Walmart might sell it as well, but if not, you can definitely get it from Target because that's where I get mine. So, hey guys, this is the Gorilla Snot um, Hair Gel. This is the Punk. This is literally the one that mostly everyone uses if you are familiar with this brand. Honestly, y'all, if you are a natural hair girl, this is literally the only gel, like, non-edge control this is the only gel that lays my hair down and gives me some nice little waves if i'm doing a slick bun if i'm doing a slick back like this is the only gel that definitely keeps my hair laid okay now if you're wanting a gel for a wash and go i definitely would not recommend this one because it's super super thick and goopy but when you need a gel that's going to hold your hair and you can also use in combination with like an edge control or a thicker pomade i definitely recommend this one i use this literally all the time i even have it in a travel size as well this is definitely my go-to hair gel for sure for my natural girl this is the super goop every single face spf 50 um, this is the Watery Lotion Broad Spectrum un Sunscreen SPF 50. Um, honestly, you guys, for what I paid for this, I definitely, there's two There's two reasons why I will not repurchase this, okay? Number one, I cannot remember what exactly I, I paid for this because I think I bought it during like a Sephora haul or sale or something, but I'm pretty sure this was around the 30 or $40 mark. And for this little bitty size, no ma'am. Like the sunscreen itself was, you know, kind of a thicker texture. And, you know, I told you guys I worked on a pool this summer, so I was really trying my best to use mostly SPF 50s and above. But for what you get in this small little container, I don't think it's worth it, personally. Um, and also, if you are sensitive skin or acne prone skin type of girl, this definitely is not a good sunscreen. Like, I don't know, for whatever reason this made me break out um and i didn't really realize it until i was almost done with it because i could not figure out why i kept having breakouts so unfortunately if you have acne prone skin i would not recommend this one there are some other really really great sunscreens by this brand but this is definitely not one of them for me personally but if you have really really dry skin you might have a better situation with this i just don't think it was for me and my skin type so yeah and then a little bit more skincare so this is the polish choice um, advanced replenishing toner i have emptied one of these before on my channel and talked to you guys about it before this is literally my, my favorite go-to toner um it is not the most affordable polish choice as a whole i would not say it's the most affordable brand it's definitely like mid to high depending on what exact product that you're buying but this is definitely a toner that i always will notice a difference in my skin when i use it it's just very no fuss but super hydrating at the same time and if you are someone that uses a lot of actives on your skin i definitely recommend trying this one out um because this is one of those toners that i find does not clog my pores and i can literally use this after every single skincare step if i wanted to um but yeah this is definitely a go-to always repurchase for me i'm working on finishing a fenty toner right now but honestly once i finish that specific toner i will tell you guys about it in an empties video but i will definitely be going to repurchase this because this is just my girl my go-to never gives me any issues and i just love it so yeah right this is another hair care product so this is the eden hydration serum um in almond marshmallow so of course the scent itself got me girl but this honestly you guys this is a hair serum that i feel like gives my curls a juicy bouncy hydration like this is literally one of the few serums that i feel like really does penetrate my hair follicles if you have thick hair this is definitely a great serum to use and to try if you are someone that feels like your hair is dry or you need something to put into your hair this is also really good for washing goes on me um and i just love it i love how it smells i can't remember how much it costs because i think i got this in a curl box subscription a really long time ago so i was trying to hurry up and use it up but i will definitely repurchase this because i do still see this in target i believe but yeah this is definitely a great great option 
for my thicker natural hair girls. Since we're talking about tried and trues, this is actually what I'm wearing on my lips today. I don't know if y'all can tell, but I literally scraped this down to the bone, girl. So this is the Fenty Beauty Gloss in Fenty Glow. Y'all, this is literally my go-to gloss for everything. If I'm doing a lip combo if i'm doing just a bare lip for the day want to moisturize my lips get a little bit of color this is literally my go-to easy reach lip gloss i will not be repurchasing this right away because i do have some other fenty glosses and lip glosses in general that i do need to show some love to but <laughs> i say all that to say this is literally a lip gloss i can wear every day and be totally happy and not have to buy any other lip glosses like this color the formulation I don't even have to put on a lip balm underneath this I know with a lot of lip glosses if you have not tried Fenty gloss um, a lot of lip glosses I find that I have to put on a chapstick or a moisturizer underneath it but I do not have to do this with any of my Fenty glosses this is my personal go-to color um, but I definitely recommend you guys swatch some of these out in store to see which one you like the most. But this is the most universal color for me and my skin tone. So yeah. You guys, this is something that I have literally a mini and a full size that I used up. This is the NYX Plump It Right Back uh, Plumping Serum and Primer. Um, honestly, you guys, I'm gonna be completely 100% with you. I am not like super well versed in a whole lot of makeup products. Like, I will try things here and there to switch up my routine but for the most part you guys I stick to things that I know for sure that I like and this is something that I tried and I was like okay this is pretty decent like you know I was using a moisturizer based primer before and I felt like while it did um, have my makeup looking good it wasn't really gripping the makeup in the way that I wanted to so this definitely gripped my makeup really well. I found that it held my makeup um, and made me a lot less oily when I was wearing makeup because I do tend to get a lot um, of oil in my T-zone area if I'm wearing makeup for a few hours. But yeah, I will definitely repurchase this and NYX is also a super, super affordable brand. Um, I think I have another primer of theirs that I, that I am about to open and start using, but when I finish that one, if for some reason I like that one better, of course I will grab that one, but I definitely would not mind picking this one up again either because while I have not used a whole lot of primers, sometimes you don't really need to fix something if it's not broken. And I feel like this worked really well for me, so I didn't really feel a need to go out and try anything else, so yeah. Okay, y'all. This is the Bath & Body Works Dry Hand Relief. Um, this is the Glycerin formula and I picked this up during the $2.95 mini sale and honestly you guys, I will not repurchase this. I will not repurchase this. Between the formula itself and the smell, like don't get me wrong, it was pretty moisturizing but in a way I felt like I needed to apply a moisturizer before I put this on because this had the consistency of like Vicks or like Vaseline or like, you know, like an occlusive, like that was the formula that it had. So while I felt like it did absorb into my hands at the same time, it left like a waxy film type of vibe on my hands. And I also did not like the smell y'all. The smell when you first put this on, it smells like Vicks. It smells like Vicks. Um, I do not like that and you know sometimes I want an unscented hand cream for work so it doesn't affect the flavor of my drinks but this is definitely not that this is definitely not that it had a menthol type of smell did not like it um, and I don't know I, I, I don't know the formula and the smell girl it wasn't for me so I will not be repurchasing this at all. Okay y'all, now this is something that I do love and I will re repurchase. You guys know I am a hemp stan. This is a hemp stan account, okay? Hemp, if you're watching this, I literally talk about y'all in every single empties video, Ulta video, whatever, girl, send me some products, okay? But um, this is the Koa and Sweet Almond. This is another one of my go-to easy reach bedtime or just any sweet gourmand layering routine type of lotions that I use. I told you guys before, but I have sensitive skin and anytime I use my Hemp's lotions, I never have to worry about feeling itchy or seeing any redness and they're all super moisturizing. And this one in particular is just a very sweet, creamy almond type of scent. It reminds me a lot of, um, a lot of sweet almond scents that we've seen from Bath & Body Works and it just has that very clean, sweet, nutty almond that I love. And anytime I wear this, I went, I actually put lotion on. I usually don't um, put on perfume, perfume before I go to the doctor's office, but 
I wore this the other day when I went to my doctor's appointment and my doctor told me that my perfume smelled good and all I was wearing was this. So this is definitely one of those super clean, sweet, non-offensive type of scents and I will 100% be repurchasing this probably not right away because I still have so many hemp lotions in my collection and I'm trying to go ahead and start using up a little bit more of those before some of these holiday scents start coming out. Um, but yeah, this is definitely a go-to for me and I love it so much. This is an empty that I'm super, super sad to see go. This is the True Blue Spa Shea Cashmere Body Lotion. Um, I'm pretty sure I talked about this in the video that I did talking about discontinued Bath & Body Works since that I would look, that I would want to see come back. And this is one of the True Blue Spa in general line, y'all. I would just love to see come back. This was definitely one of my favorite scents. There was also a body butter as well, you guys. And this just, oh my God, it just smelled like a sweet, cakey vanilla. Literally every time I wore this or the body butter or both together, you guys, I wouldn't even have to put on a fragrance because I was smelling so sweet and warm and cozy and inviting. And I would always get compliments from men anytime I wore this lotion, y'all. Anytime I wear this lotion, whatever is in here, I don't know if they put some pheromones in this girl, but anytime I wore this lotion, men were literally, they were turning their heads, they were smelling me, and they were like, oh my god, you smell so good. So yeah, y'all, this one, it just reminded me of like a sweet, rich vanilla cake almost, and I am just hoping and praying we see this come back for SAS. Bath & Body Works will randomly bring back certain items from the True Blue Spa line for semi-annual sale. So I'm hoping they do that this year because I would love to see Shea Cashmere come back. Okay, you guys. Now, speaking of Bath & Body Works products, this is a super old fine fragrance mist in my collection that I finally finished. And honestly, y'all, this was smelling good to the last drop, okay? This was a 2016 fine fragrance mist, 2016. And when I tell you, the last time I wore this, I wore this to go to my mom's house and she gave me a hug and she was like, oh my God, you smell so good. This has the same vibes as the Hemp's Koa and Sweet Almond where it's just a sweet, creamy, non-offensive, clean type of almond. And I was super, super sad to finish this because I love this line so much. There was also a lavender one that came out as well as like a green apple one, but this was definitely my favorite. It was a gourmand almond, but at the same time, it was a very clean, nutty, sweet almond. And I just love this. I got compliments. It's another one that I would always get compliments on. This is definitely a scent I would love for them to bring back, but I am currently using um, the sweet honey and almond which kind of smells similar to that so I do have a couple backup bottles of that one but for now this one unfortunately I'm completely done with and I will no longer have this in my collection all right and then obviously I have a thing for almond scents and honey scents of course but this is the peach and honey almond so this was um, a mist that came out with lemon pomegranate cream and um, apple apple lavender blossom I can't remember that one but that was the only one that I wasn't super like in love with but this one for sure is another one that I always got compliments on you guys it's just a very sweet peach with that honey and that almond y'all this was just a beautifully done fragrance and I think I have one more fine fragrance mist so I'm not super sad to see this one go but I am noticing the scent in this particular one was starting to go a little bad so hopefully the other one that I have backstopped will still smell pretty good I don't know but this is definitely a favorite of mine this is definitely one that I wear in all seasons and I just love it. So we'll definitely be bringing out the backup that I have of this for sure. Okay, you guys. So the next thing that I have here is a Kopari scrub. This is the Exfoliating Crush Body Scrub. I got this during Ulta Diamond Day when it was like in a two-pack. Um, and it was a really great deal because it was like a really, really cheap um, price for this and the body butter. So I definitely snatched that up quick. But um, what I actually really like, they make it super easy to like recycle. So this is like the inner part that the scrub is in and then when you're done with it, you could take it out. So I might actually keep this little canister and recycle the inside of this. But either way, you guys, um, while I did like this scrub, I liked how it made my skin feel. I liked the texture and the smell of it. My issue with it is this, if you have a white shower, which most people do, this made such a mess and literally will leave like 
brown stains in your shower if you don't completely rub this into your skin and it just made me literally want to clean my shower every single time that I got out of the shower so while I do like it um I feel like the only time I would repurchase it if I see it in a gift set for a cheaper price or if I see it at like TJ Maxx or Marshalls for a discounted price because for what for the amount that you get for what you would pay for this full price I definitely would not recommend buying this full price but I did like the texture of it I did like that it was kind of a medium coarseness it wasn't super rough but it wasn't like a body polish or anything um and it left my skin definitely super super moisturized so yeah definitely would repurchase this but only if I can get it for like cheap okay okay guys and then another scrub i finished is the ulta beauty brightening vitamin c scrub so this one was okay um it had a little bit of like a whipped creamy type of texture and then it had a very strong like orange grapefruit citrus type of smell um i didn't really notice any significant differences in my skin really um so I don't know this one was just okay for me i don't feel like i would run to the store and repurchase it i don't think it did anything super amazing for me to be like oh my god you guys need to go try this um but i mean this is probably also one of those things that you're gonna have to use quite a bit and use consistently if you really want to see results because vitamin c is just one of those ingredients that you have to constantly apply to your skin for you to see any major differences and I use quite a few different scrubs so I don't know this is one of those scrubs you would probably have to stick to and continuously use to see a major difference in my opinion and I got too many scrubs to go through to be doing all that so yeah I will not be repurchasing this one unfortunately hey you guys this I was going to tell you guys I was going to be so sad to see this leave my collection but honestly, I'm not because some people have been seeing this scent already popping up in their targets. So if you guys did not know, this is the Native Sugar Cookie Body Wash. Um, this is my one from last year. I only picked up one and I was very, very sad that I only picked up one. So I have been using it sparingly. But now that I know we're getting closer to the holiday season and it's coming back out, I went ahead and used it up. But y'all, this is literally just... The perfect sugar cookie scent it's literally to me smells like merry cookie and christmas cookies together where i'm getting like a sweet like caramelly cinnamon type of vibe but it's also really really doughy and sugary sweet this smells so freaking amazing you guys and everybody who has this literally loves this freaking body wash and i cannot wait to have this back in my collection i hope they bring it out in like the bigger size again because I will definitely scoop that up this is a smaller one and I just was using it real sparingly girl but I finally finished it up and I'm looking forward to repurchasing this and hopefully we see like some more um creative holiday scents from them because I really love natives holiday scents so yeah so this is the pharmacy green clean makeup cleansing balm um i did actually really really like this makeup cleansing balm um it definitely got my makeup off in one fell swoop like i'm a double cleanser regardless but this definitely got the majority of my makeup off where i probably if i didn't feel like it i probably could have got away with not double cleansing um but my only issue with it of course is the size because this brand is not super cheap this is a brand that is sold at sephora and unfortunately it's a little bit more on the expensive side so i probably will not pick this up right away because i right now am just really loving the elf cleansing balm and it's literally only ten dollars and i feel like you get a little bit more product and it does exactly the same thing so honestly i'm probably going to stick with the elf version for right now um i don't really feel a need to go and repurchase this one but i did really like using it and it did a really great job of getting my makeup off so yeah some wipes these are the simple kind to skin wipes um these honestly i try my best not to really use makeup wipes like that i try to use like a cotton pad and micellar water but if i'm in a hurry or i'm on the go these are definitely my makeup wipes of choice because they don't have a whole lot of added chemicals and they don't irritate my skin um and there's really not much else to say about these i mean there's nothing extra about them they do what they need to do they don't irritate my sensitive skin and 
that's it and then of course you guys have seen me empty a few of these on my channel but these are the antibacterial hand wipes that i got from bath and body works for si for a semi-annual sale this summer um these were like a dollar they were 75 percent off and i really wish i stocked up on more of them because i just love these so i'm hoping we see maybe some holiday scents or some fall scents or see these come back for semi-annual sale because obviously them going straight to 75 percent off that means they were not selling well but i personally really really like these i prefer a wipe over a pocket back or a hand sanitizer spray because you can literally wipe your hands off kill the germs and throw it away um and i really really love these i love the formula i love how they made my hands feel i loved how they smelled um and they were just really really easy to use this is another skincare product this is the naturium vitamin c complex serum um this one was actually a really good vitamin c serum if you have sensitive skin or you just feel like your skin is a little dull this definitely did a great job you can pick this up at target um i already have a go-to vitamin c serum that i use that i feel like really does make a significant difference in my skin but if i cannot find that one because sometimes it is sold out i definitely would not mind repurchasing this one this one was really good and again you can pick this up at target there are a lot of really great products from this brand um and i'm definitely a fan of the vitamin c serum and this was actually something really interesting that i got in a sephora i mean in an ulta like sample bag this is the good patch dream um so this is basically a patch that you put on like your arm or something and they have a bunch of different ones and i've been meaning to try the energy one because it's supposed to be like a b12 shot thing but um this one was in an ulta beauty like freebie pack and honestly y'all the night that i put this on i slept so freaking good so i don't know if it was a mind thing or what but i literally it was a night that i was having trouble falling asleep and i put this on and when i tell y'all as soon as i like laid in my bed after a few minutes i started to doze off like and i was knocked out the whole night so i'm definitely going to pick some more of these up and try them out just to make sure i wasn't like just imagining things um but yeah the concept of these is super super cool because i know not everyone is able to like take pills and stuff like that like melatonin and things like that so I am very excited and want to try a few more of these. So hopefully I will um, get my hands on the B12 one and let you guys know how I like that. But yeah. All right, you guys, that is it for this empties video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys found some stuff, saw some stuff, heard some things that you might like, that you might want to try, that you love, that you have emptied, some things that you missed, some things you want to see come back. You guys just let me know in the comments below. And also let me know what you guys want to see from me next. Of course, I always tell you guys I'm super open to suggestions and I appreciate you guys showing so much love and always supporting me. So that is it, you guys, for this empties video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.